So let's talk about some lessons here, okay? I've got six. Lesson one, be careful over time on relying on your own strength for success in life as opposed to realizing it was God who gives you the victory or the danger of trying to figure out how big your church is. So David, David always trusted the Lord. The size of his army did not matter. David preached. The Lord can bring victory with a few men or a lot of men. But as he's getting older, he's kind of forgetting that it was the Lord that brought the victory. Here's verses David actually wrote in Psalms. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. So King David knows you're not saved by how big your army is. You're saved if God's on your side and God's fighting for you. When I took Goliath down, it wasn't the size of the army. I was just a young man and with the Lord and my slingshot, I, we defeated the Philistines. David says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. But then David gets older and he starts thinking, you know what, I wonder how big my army is. It's important for me to know how many men there are and stuff like that. And Joab's like, don't don't do this sin. Don't, we're trusting God. God's been blessing our nation, King David, because we trust in him, not in chariots, not in horses, not in number of men. So let's apply this. It's Memorial Day tomorrow after all. God has blessed the United States for hundreds of years with our wars and our battles. Let me ask you this question. Has he been blessing our nation because of the number of soldiers we have? Is that why God has used the USA in such a significant role around the world? Is it because we have so many people here? Maybe. Is it because we have so many tanks and and missiles? Is that why God has been blessing the USA? Or is it because we've trusted in God and God has been blessing our nation? The nation was founded on godly principles and if you read any of the first 15 presidents, how prayer was so important, calling the nation to God and praying and fasting and and all this, what has been the source of the victory in the United States. Do we forget that? David forgets it was God. And in his older age, he now, he wants to know the size. And and now he's trusting in man and in size. When God all along is bringing great victory to King David and his men. Church. I know I've shared this story before. Robin and I planted our first church which basically started at 25, had 10 people. In five years, hundreds of people had joined the church. We built a, bought property, built a church. God did amazing things. And it's funny, in some sense, I know, looking back now, I realize miraculous things that God did. It was a country church in the middle of nowhere. Now Robin and I go to plant our second church, and we go into a very populated area with I handpicked 10 of the best Christians there were. And I said to myself, ah, I'm going to even be more successful in the second church plant. I've learned so much in the first. And that was in the countryside. That was farmland. Now we're in the city. And we are going to build a bigger church, better, more powerful, because I'm so wonderful. And five years later, we had hardly anyone. I actually prayed one night and resigned to the Lord. I was going to tell my board, (laughs) the the small board I had left, I was going to tell my board in in one month that I was going to quit and go back to medical school. And God said to me when I was quitting, the Lord says, now, Joe, who builds the church? Who grows? Whose blessing is it really? Is it you or is it me? And I went, Lord, it is so clear, it is you. And that next Sunday, that second church took off. But I was very humbled by the Lord 
He did not tell me that until after I quit. Your life, when we're younger, we're trusting God, walking with the Lord. Be careful when you get older that you don't start getting into your own head. You don't start getting prideful. You don't start counting all the things that you built, that you did. Remember, it, it was the Lord. It was God.